Ah, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today's video is about crossing up charcoal and biochar and talking about some improvements I want to do to my biochar crusher. It's a nice windy day today and it'll blow the dust away from the engine on the crusher and that's one of the things I want to fix. It's just a bit too dusty the way it is. If you watch carefully here you can see a lot of dust and little bits of char come out the top as well. The crushed product is perfect for what I want and it crushes it really quickly. I just have this bit of a problem with the feed in and the feed out which I can fix. So you've probably got an idea what I'm complaining about now. I just think there's too much dust. And I've tried putting water on it, and if you get it just right, it's perfect. But if you get it wrong, it turns to sludge in the bottom of the crusher, and that's a problem. However, I think I've come up with a way to fix it. This char that I'm crushing at the moment is out of the bottom of our wood stove from inside. And you can see I've got banana peels and anything else that'll crush up I put in it that's good for the soil. It has a lot of ash in it as well and that really makes it extra dusty so you're seeing it at its very worst at the moment. I'm now crushing up eggshells. We save all the old eggshells and put in it they're a good source of calcium. There are a couple of other minor things I want to fix. I will share that with you and discuss what I plan to do about them. I'm going to take the crusher up and near the shed so that I can work on it. And one of the things that I did do when I worked all this out was I made the tolerances between the cut-off tote and the crusher a bit too tight. So what I, that's one thing I'm going to fix. I'm going to make the crusher a little bit higher. Basically there's only really two areas that I'm not happy with and they both relate to the product feeding in and the product feeding out and dust. Up here on the top what happens is that charcoal goes in and because it's open to the crusher it spits some back out and it spits dust out the top. So that's one issue that I want to resolve and I can do that a couple of ways and I've got to have a look at it and decide what I want to do. The second issue is where the feed out comes out here, lots of dust comes out there with it. Particularly if I've got charcoal that's got any ash in it, which I do have out of my fireplace. I don't have that problem out of the biochar, but I do if I crush the charcoal out of the fireplace. What I propose to do here and up here around the machine, all around the out feed, is put a skirt. That will eliminate that problem. That's pretty straightforward. The issue of up here, really, there's only a couple of ways to fix it. One is to enclose this right in like so, and then from here, put an auger. So you would put the charcoal in at the side here, the auger would feed it into the crusher. Because of the auger spinning in, the dust wouldn't want to come back out. That's a fairly involved process and I'd like to avoid that if possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. The problem isn't so much building the auger or any of that. The biggest issue with it is, is you've got to power it somehow and I'm just not sure about that. I do have another idea which may work and I'm going to think about that first. And I'll try to explain what I mean by that. I put this flap up here to try to stop a bit of stuff coming back up out of the machine. And inside here, I also put a baffle. Neither of those things entirely fix the problem, so I'll take them off. Uh. 
Okay, that's got rid of that. You're now looking inside the crusher. I've taken hit all here. This was a removable panel and I've taken that off and now you can see inside the crusher. And you can see it's pretty much just a standard old hammer mill. There's nothing really very fancy about it. When I built this, I didn't have very much idea and I hadn't built any sort of hammer mill or crusher before. And I built this feed-in chute thinking that, you know, I'd just shovel the stuff in the top and it'd do its thing and come out the bottom. And I guess I didn't really understand or take into consideration the amount of dust that had been created. I sort of thought I'd be able to wet down the charcoal and that would keep the dust down. But what I've actually found is that if you wet it down enough to keep the dust down, you're probably going to make mud and block up your screen. You can cut the dust down by using water, but with this method it's very, very particular how much water you put. And the difference between crushing it and it going through the screen and creating mud is so small that it's very difficult to do correctly. Anyway, what I'm proposing to do is cut all this off here and get rid of that whole chute. Cut this removable flap down to here, and then we're gonna have a flat top here like this. From here up, I'm going to make a cylinder that's gonna go right along here, wider than the opening. And that cylinder is gonna have a hole cut out of the top of it, and a shelf in there. You will fill that up with charcoal and via a handle, rotate that cylinder until the charcoal is facing down and it will drop down into the crusher. The tolerances around this cylinder will need to be very tight and maybe even have some rubber rubbing on the cylinder to, to form a seal. That will eliminate the dust out of the top. I've opted for the low-tech approach. I don't want to have to add motors or a drive system for an auger, so that's what I'm planning on doing. Here I've got a bucket. You can imagine it wasn't tapered, just dead straight, and it had an end in this end as well. And out of here, I cut a piece like so. And inside here I welded a piece of metal. And what would happen, that would sit up there like that. I would pour the char in the top where the hole was, then rotate this around. The cylinder would be sealed off all around and the char would drop down into here. Anything that was thrown back up would hit the shelf inside the cylinder and not be able to exit the top of the hopper. I'd have to make this straight put a hole in either end for a shaft to go through and a handle to rotate it and a way for the handle to be fixed in the down position and the up position. The good thing about it is there's not a lot to go wrong and you can see the blades will clear the cylinder. I know that it would probably be more interesting if I built an auger and did all that, but I just think it's a whole heap more stuff to go wrong over a period of time. And I really don't think it needs it. I think we can just make that cylinder with a shelf in it, fill the shelf up with char, rotate it around and it'll be sealed while it crushes. And I think that's going to work really well. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.